Hi and welcome to today's session on trigonometry, elevation and depression. So what we're going to be looking to do is um, we're going to be working on the basis of elevation, looking up at objects, looking at depression, so looking down at objects, calculating these angles, angles that we're looking up and angles that we are looking down. So here is uh, my example. I've got the Empire State Building. This is where I am on the building, and I'm looking down at a car on the street. That's level with the base of this car, the base of this building. So the Empire State Building is 300 metres high, and that's the point now I am looking down at this car. The car is 100 metres away from the base of this, and as you can see here, we've created a right angle triangle. Now, if I was to draw a parallel line, from where I am looking, what I've actually done there is I've created alternate angles, or some of you may know them as Z angles, where the angle here is the same as the angle here. So what I've actually done, the angle of elevation is going to be equal to the angle of depression. So what I'm going to um, do here is that I'm going to work out my angle of elevation to work out my angle of depression. So First of all, as always, label my sides. My opposite is opposite my angle that I'm looking to calculate. My adjacent is next to my angle. And my hypotenuse is the longest side, which is opposite my right angle. So my opposite is 300 meters, my adjacent is 100 meters. And what I'm going to be doing is using tan theta, tan angle equals my opposite over adjacent, because those are the two bits of information that I've been given. To calculate my angle. So tan x, I've just called this angle x because uh, that's a, a normal thing that uh, that you probably see in maths. Anytime you look into uh, solve uh, an unknown, they just say, oh, this is x. So tan x equals 300 over 100. So now rearranging this, taking my tan from the left hand side to the right hand side, so it's going to become its reciprocal. So x equals tan to the power of negative 1. 300 over 100, or 300 divided by 100. And that gives me 71.57 degrees to two decimal points. Now, what we've actually gone and seen here is the angle of depression is the same as the angle of elevation, which is key, a key thing that we need to, need to bear in mind. If you like what you see, thank you. Very, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.